what up y'all what up y'all this your roving reporter your roving reporter lc the one baby your hood news reporter lc the one baby from the break room man uh real quick uh before we get this day started well ended this day is ended um let's talk about this jazz game yesterday jazz versus pacers uh, the pacers they went out to uh utah and it was a good game it was a really good game uh Y'all probably can see the graphic right there. It was a really good game. Uh, but late, late in the third quarter, uh, Miles Turner and Booty Gobert got uh, tangled up. And uh, that started a fisticuff, okay? And uh, no punches really was wrong. We didn't really see the whole uh, altercation. But, um, uh, yeah, it went down, okay? Four players was ejected. Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Miles Turner and I think uh, uh, Joe Ingleside, Ingleside, Ingleside. But yeah, four players was ejected. Uh, it was a good game yesterday. I get, I did the reaction video for it, so uh, y'all probably seeing that already. Uh, but yeah, this was an interesting basketball game. They play hard though, no cap. They play hard. Uh, Donovan Mitchell was having a good game. Him and Rudy Gobert, they was having a good game. Um, uh, you know, until the skirmish broke out, okay. And uh, so Hassan Whiteside came in and he stopped, you know, backing up that, you know, filling that role, um, for um, Rudy Gobert. And, um, yeah, they took care of business. But let me tell y'all, man, uh, the Utah Jazz, they they really got a good team, no cap, they got a really good team, and they will be going far in the playoffs. So, uh, yeah, they got the shooters, they got Mike Conley. Uh, Donovan Mitchell. It's uh, another player on that team. I forgot his name, but uh, I'm just getting, you know, acclimated with these new stars. But uh, they got a sign white side, and they got Rudy Gobert. So if they start both of them guys, and I'm pretty sure that's what probably will happen when the playoff uh, does in fact taking place. Uh, they're gonna start both of those guys, and that's gonna get them a, you know, a dynamic inside the interior area. That's what. You know, most of the most of the teams they have bigs now. Like that's why LA they went out and they shopped, and they got all those bigs, man. They got DeAndre Jordan, they got uh, uh, Anthony Davis, okay, and then Dwight Howard, okay. So, and then you know, of course, you gotta have a shoot on team. But this is different though. Uh, the Jazz they got shot blockers, okay. They got uh, rim protectors. They got glass cleaners. They can grab rebounds. And you know, pretty much just just clog up the middle with those small guards trying to come down there like that. So yeah, that's why the Utah Jazz have been so successful so far this season. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, they're a team to watch out for. Okay, but on the flip side of that, you know, teams gonna you know play them with them stretch bigs and it's gonna draw them out the paint. So I see how the coach he be doing it. He sometimes he mix it up. Uh, go small ball. I don't know too many of their forwards that they have on their team, but uh, you know they quick enough, you know, uh, to react to any situation. So uh, yeah, but like I said, man, it was a a brawl. I mean, they really went boxing. Nobody really, you know, got into it like that besides Mal Turner and um, and Rudy Gobert. But I'm trying to figure out why did they why did they eject Donovan Mitchell okay why did they eject him and all he was down there pretty much was trying to do was trying to break up the altercation but you know how you go in the NBA man if you're around the scene you're going to be you know label you're going to be on that label you're going to be um, um, a part of the, uh, the commotion but anyway that was a good game man I did the reactions for all three games that was on the schedule last night y'all see that post um later in these days and stuff like that uh, uh no, i probably got one more that's coming right after the uh, this video uh because it takes time man editing all that stuff and then uploading it what boy i went to bed at what what time i go to bed last night i think it was another 2 30 uh before that it was three before that it was five o'clock in the morning hey man i'm grinding man i ain't trying to, i'm not playing no games man uh i appreciate all all that have been subscribing and watching the videos that's what I'm talking about, man. I really appreciate the love, man, uh, that y'all been giving me. 
And uh, this is well overdue, man, because, you know, I've been trying to do the NBA for my whole life, man. I played all-star shooter in the city, okay? And, uh, yeah, man, I mean, I, I was going to go this route as far as, like, being a commentator. Uh, well, I was really wanted to be a sportscaster, you know, when I got to Chicago State. I was in the broadcasting department and all that stuff. You know, I'm able to do everything. I can operate a whole TV studio by myself and a radio station. Okay, not to read the teleprompter, get get uh these off the AP wire, all that stuff. You know, I do radio drops, all that stuff, man. I, boy, I'm that dude, but the city didn't want to give me a job. Okay, with the Power 92, WGCI, you know, met all the big wigs, met a lot of celebrities, became a celebrity myself. Okay, with this music, and uh, yeah, but. You know, I thank y'all, man, on this platform, and, you know, hopefully I can get partnered with the NBA, but I'm still, you know, I haven't applied again, but I'm about to apply one more time and send my business email because they haven't really been, they haven't been responding. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But anyway, man, I got to get up out of here, man. For real, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Hey, this is the Rover Report, your hood news reporter, LC the one. It's on the break room. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell button on. So y'all get some more of this exclusive hood news. Y'all didn't even know they had a brawl last night, did y'all? Y'all probably know that because y'all, if y'all watch ESPN and stuff, okay. But this is the under level right here. So you know, I give y'all all the 411 when y'all don't see it. Can y'all dig that? But anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. And I'm gonna talk to y'all later on. I'm uh, uh, I ain't gonna do another video, but I'm gonna check what's on the schedule tonight and. If y'all want to see the reactions, man, make sure y'all sub and turn the notification bell button. That's all you got to do. And then I may go live on Twitch. I go live every day on Twitch, but, you know, I may play 2K live. May pull a green screen out for it, you know, depending on what the situation is. All right. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. We out here at church now. No need for a screenshot or something. But that's it, man. We out. Yeah. 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 Hey man. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all, man. That's for all y'all niggas out there, man. Yeah. They're saying I ain't the OG, the original. Yeah. Hey man. Who's a duplicate? Yeah. Who's a duplicate? Who's a dude, nigga? Yeah. Who's a duplicate, nigga? Who's a duplicate? He's a dude, nigga, and I'm the original motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah, don't forget to get your custom t-shirts, you dig on time off from LC the one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt, you dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh-huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well. You did unisex, long sleeve. You did now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Stood up with the hood on it. Stood up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up. Custom with the pockets on it and stuff. You dig what I'm talking about. Back print and sleeve and print. You dig what I'm talking about. Print Everywhere. Then I got the yoga pants. You dig on top joggers. You dig on top about for me. And I got the crop new T-shirts for the ladies. You dig on top. Look at that. She look comfortable with it. Uh huh. Then I got the sports bra. You dig on top about. Get the sports bra. You dig on top with the back print print. You dig on top about the back print print. You dig on top about we ain't playing no game. And then I got the yoga pants for the ladies. You dig on top about biker booty shorts. You dig on top about for that put that piece can round out. You dig on top about. Then I got the the yoga leggings. You dig on top about for ladies. So when she jogging and everything. And I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You dig and I got the, the custom socks. You dig on tomorrow. You ain't gonna find them on socks like that. Nowhere on the planet. And then, last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey. You dig on talking about. Then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print. Look good. Then I got the Illmatic one. My street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little sleeve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You dig on draw straight back. And then I got the real backpack. You know what I'm talking about? LC the one. Look at the back. Look at the front. You dig on. Look at the top. You think I'm talking about everything is looking good. You think I'm talking about and then I'll see the worst neighborhood. And then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case. You think I'm talking about and then I got the iPhone 6 case 7, 8, 9. Let's order what you want. And then I got the custom print. You think I'm talking about LC the one, baby. And then I got the custom mug. I and mean, when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my stream. And then I got the snuggle pillow when you want to get snuggled with your lady. Yeah.